This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mike Hermes and today we're going to do a subscriber request. We're going to do a video on how to create facial hair on a model in Maya and we're going to use XGen to do that. Okay, so here we go. Alrighty guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2016 and I loaded up a mesh of a male head and we're going to use that to demonstrate how to apply facial hair uh, in this case and what we'll do is we'll demonstrate that by creating a goatee, okay? So you're going to select your object and you're going to start by either selecting the entire object or the faces where you want hair applied, okay? If I were to activate XGen right now, I would have hair everywhere on the eyeballs, the ears, and so forth. So I only want to have the area affected where I want this goatee. So I'm going to right click, go to face, and I'm going to start to select faces where I want this goatee to appear, okay? I'm quickly gonna pause the video, I'm gonna select my area, and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay guys, here we go. Um, now I'm not a goatee expert, so I don't know what the correct flow is for a goatee, but this is what we're gonna go with. So now that we have this, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go up to our XGen tab, and we're gonna hit this X up here, okay? We're gonna hit create new description, and we'll call this um, the head of dude and then we'll call this uh, small beard on dude okay now you can expand on this because maybe you want a mustache and sideburns and all that kind of stuff and you can all put that under the same description okay now the next thing that's important is I want to have groomable splines okay because it's applied for short hair and so forth, and this will help me to um, uh, tweak the look of the hairs, okay? So I'm gonna hit Create, and you see a couple of odd-looking things coming out of his chin here. Now, this is kind of a Maya glitch, as far as I'm concerned. The way to fix that is we're gonna go into our Primitives tab, we're gonna go to the Primitive Type, we're gonna click on the drop down menu and we're gonna re click on spline. And now you can only see a few hairs sticking out. They're quite long, but that's fine. We're now gonna to go to our grooming tab and we're gonna to start to tweak that. Okay? Now, first, I'm gonna increase the density of the hairs by pulling up that slider here. Let's not go crazy. Let's say 500. That's quite a bit. I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna go with black and I want my base color to be let's say gray that's fine and then let's see on the length we'll do 0 0.02 which will give what you would call a nightshade effect or let's say a late afternoon beard if you increase the density on that you get a nice shade okay that's fairly dense but you get the idea now this all depends on your mesh, whether it's, um, you know, has enough faces to get a nice flow for that. But what you can also do is you can increase the length of these hairs to, let's say, something like this. And then the grooming comes in because this looks a bit odd, obviously. We're going to go in our grooming tools and we're going to start to change, for example, the orientation. We're going to click on that. This gives us a very big uh, brush, if you will, and we can tweak the magnitude there. And as we start to pull here, you can see that the hairs are going down nicely. And more and more, it's starting to look like actual facial hair. Okay, we're gonna bring that in a bit. We're gonna bring that down, down here, because the hair is supposed to follow the flow of the chin. Here, we're gonna bring that in a bit. Let's bring that out at this end. And at the top part here, we should be good. That is a bit too much. We're creating spots there. Okay, but you get the idea, right? 
we're starting to get a nice looking goatee. Now, let's tweak that a little bit. We're gonna bring down the density just a bit and we'll bring the length down as well. 0.15 and that looks more reasonable, okay? So guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to apply this to the scalp, for example, you can do that. And let's say you want to divide the hair on the scalp. What you can do, and I'll demonstrate on the beard, is you can go up to, uh, let's see, to, what is that called? There is a very specific one. I think it's this one, repel, yeah. Here you are kind of creating an area where you are splitting up where the hairs are positioned, okay? Now you can have a length brush. So let's say I want to have the hair longer in the middle. I can kind of brush that out and make it more like a full beard. Okay. So now we've got something like this. And then let's say I want this to be uh, facing down more. I can again go into the magnitude and start to brush it down that hair. Okay. So short and sweet. Hopefully this uh, gave you some more information on how to uh, apply this technique. Um, I did this video because I've been emailing for a while now with someone that has great trouble in getting this working. So uh, hopefully this will fix that problem. Okay guys, well if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to hang out with a lot of talented people, check out the link below to the MA Tutorials Hangout Group. We're at current time, more than 150 people are hanging out, uh, sharing their work, their demo reels, and asking each other questions and so forth. All right? Well, that said, guys, thanks for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye.